Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty 1.2.0.1. something. And we're here with Arwen again. We've, I believe we've just got to go across the river here and talk to Falbor to start off with. We'll get this out of the way. Go on fella, you can do it. Just a bridge. Good man, good man. So, at the moment we've completed Unagos' story. Um, now, there was supposed to be things you could do for the king. I kind of wanted to see if we could get into those, but I don't. we don't seem to have got there yet. There was someone I could talk to in the bar near Unagos, but um, that didn't seem to work. Falbor, I'm going to guess that's you, sir. Hello! Some time ago you mentioned that a certain hunter had bows for sale. Could you please tell me where we can find him? Yes, however, it's not him but her. The hunter's name is Giz Gizella. She lives far to the west in the village of Lysina. Or Lazina. Lesnisa. Lesnisa. Thank you. Let's get a move on. Take care in the forests and on the road. I warn you though, Gazilla is qu has quite a temper. Ah, indeed. We will watch our backs. Thank you for the advice. Indeed, sir. And that's it. And... E e oh, God. So we're going to be left with this guy following us for the rest of our lives. Because now we need to go... Over here. Um, I'm not sure whether to go to, um, back to Gustavia and check out that guy or not. I might as well, I'm dead close. So, I might as well go back and check that out. But, um, I was meant to be upgrading. It's the winter. I'm supposed to be upgrading, getting everything ready for the crops and everything. I don't want to waste all my days with Alvin in bloody tow. Come on, Rasmi. Come on, Rasmi. You can do it. I mean, I wasn't expecting to end up with a pet Alvin in tow. So, this guy is over here. He's got like a little um, thing, this dude. So, let's speak to him. But he doesn't have anything. He's like, have you heard anything interesting recently? No. Okay. So, it was nice God knows what happens tax-wise um, now, because, you know, this is like with the king. The king is Dietwin the Great. Um, and obviously I'll have taxes to pay. I don't quite know what happens with that, but I guess we find out next season then. But, um... We've got to run all the way over to Aznisa. Um So, I guess I'll bring you in when I get there. Well, the only thing with cutting a lot of the travel out is you do miss how beautiful this game is sometimes. As, you're, as we're walking down there, coming out across the valley, it just looked absolutely amazing. I mean, it's very bright, obviously, because it's snow and there's lots of reflection but um hello I have a bow will that not do can you can you have that bow oh sad times oh you know I found a random bow I thought that would do the trick so Elizabeth is, is this way the um Slightly militaristic music is worrying me that something bad's about to happen. But we'll get up here and um, speak to Gazila. 
Is this you, is it? I think we've spoken before. Hello, my friend. Alwyn would like to buy a bow from you. Um, did your friend lose his tongue? No, of course. It's just that I'm more of a talker. You both get on my nerves instantly. You're a perfect match. No doubt. Let's quit the jabber, lads, and get to the point. Show us your wares. Good. Now you hit him the, the right note. Let's make a deal. Okie dokie. Okay. What, what happened? It didn't actually show any money go out of my um, thing, so I'm guessing Alwyn bought his own bow. So let's have a chat with Alwyn. Sir, sir. You, you think you'd acknowledge me? I guess you'll have to go back and change clothes now. She seems annoyed and probably didn't didn't kill anything in a long time or anyone. She's intimidating. Probably eats bears for breakfast. Well, you already have a bow. Have a bow. Experience will come in time. Here. Take this. A few arrows from my recent acquisition. It's for helping me again. No problem, any time. I could have just given you the bow I found on the way here. So, Alwyn's heading back. Wait for the next day. Uh, okay. Bye, Alwyn. Have fun. Right. So, we've got to head back. I believe this road will take me up near Denica. But I'm probably just going to try and hop straight over here and get back to my village because um, definitely this episode is going to be an episode of upgrades obviously I won't subject you to all the upgrades but um, we'll go through and have a look at what we're going to upgrade I'm sure the food hut is on the list there I'd like to get that one upgraded and we've got plenty of materials Uh, I'll bring you back in as we're getting over to the village. And just like that, we're fairly quickly on arrival towards the village. There's a big flat area here that I didn't really notice before. I'm hoping that even if I have to bring some houses up this way and leave this bit a bit more open, because I seem to struggle to put a house here last time, I might be able to expand the village in that direction for houses and farmland and things. But uh, we are back. Let's check the quest out quickly. We'll do a quick save because when it comes to the quest things, you never know quite what the game's going to throw at you. So, uh, Rodolfina, you Hello, have a friend. quest for us. Is there something I can help you with? It's so cold. Could you bring me some warm clothes? I'll teach you a little bit about survival if you do. I'll bring you some clothes. Uh, what does she want? Let's um, have a check in the old uh, quest log. Warm clothes, you would like a a bag hat times one. Can I make a bag hat? Um, a hood, a fur hood, a long hood, a fur capulet. Um, okay. A bag hat is wool thread, wool fabric times two, and two times linen cloth cloth I do not have enough production to make a bag hat you are shitting me right eh right I'm gonna go see if I can buy one from Denica because I don't like um, chucking these quests away but I'm gonna go see if I can get one from Denica I'll, and then we'll probably have a quick look at knocking up the food hut okay so we're gonna talk to Matilda goods in the valley. who is gonna sell us a bag hat for a whopping 840 uh, gold for a second there I thought I had 1800 I was like what um, but no it's well, I, I resent having to buy this but there we go I'm gonna do it anyway 
I sold all my flaxseed, didn't I? Yeah, I did have masses of flaxseed. Have a good day. So we have the bag cat. We may as well do it. So I'll go back, we'll complete this quest, and we'll get straight on with upgrading the food hut. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna give uh Rodolfina the hat. Yes, here you are. Thank you so much. No problem, you owe me 840 gold. Damn. Completed quest, warm clothes, and apparently we got a technology lift which took us to it says herbalist hut 2 which we're actually almost maxing out on the survival tech here we are still a long way from maxing out this which um this is the one i really want to get to the mine um this one I guess what I'm really interested in, which we're heading towards now, is the stable. Because then we've got horses. Then we have the horses. But I am I think, can we not do a, a level 2 barn? We can. So this is another thing that I would like to upgrade. Now, these guys don't seem to be working on the fields. Why are they not working on the fields? My guess is going to be that they're out of manure or fertilizer. Fertilizer 1, yeah. They're actually out of fertilizer. Now, they've got a bunch of manure, so what I'm going to do is they should have plenty of manure and plenty of rot to be working on it. What, what, what does this mean? Bag, bag. What what are you missing? Um, that that seems like you're missing something. Missing bag. So is that missing fertilizer, or it doesn't actually tell you what what they're missing? I'm going to assume that is because they are missing fertilizer. So they've got resources for both of these. Um, I'm going to grab say. I don't know, if I grab a hundred manure, I think you can actually make quite a lot of fertilizer with a hundred manure, say like 50 or something. So I'm going to grab that and get on with it a second to make sure they're still working because I want those done by spring ready to go. And there we go. 50 fertilizer is done straight away. We'll chuck that in there we'll chuck the, the fur in i need to get rid of the meat as well we'll chuck those planks in let's get rid of all the things we don't need in our inventory ready for um doing our building we'll drop all of these bits in i've got to put the meat in the other one we've still got the copper hammer which is fine do 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 i think we oh we can drop that bow as well I could probably sell that bow, but we'll chuck it in there just in case someone needs it. We'll chuck the meat in here just to get rid of it because I've got 41 meat. And we've got a bunch of carrots which are going to look like they're going to turn into rot in a season or two as well, which will all be good. All right, let's take a bunch of logs. And um, I mean, we've still got 40 odd dob. And they still haven't actually gone through all the flax. We still have 700 and something crazy flax seed. Um, right. Let's find... We're going to need wood. Wood, 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 wood. Which is going to be logs. I've gone past it already. So let's take... I don't know, 80. That'll be just over our carry weight. But it should be enough. Because I'm assuming, like the um, resource shed, it'll now move to log walks. So let's have a look at this upgrade. Building. Um, what do we need? Houses, storages. Um, food storage too. There we go, we can just place it. 
and oh, why, why can't I move? Ugh. I can't move because I've got stuff back. I should have been stood a little closer. Oh no! How annoying is that? Um. Okay, let's just drop um like ten logs or something. There you go. We'll drop ten logs. It should be enough to move that bit closer. And then um, I can pick them up as as I need them. I forgot about that. That Master of Destruction is actually pretty useful. But when you don't think about it, you can end up heavily loaded up on stuff, on materials. But not too bad. Right, where, where's the ten logs I dropped on the floor? Let's have those. But Builder's Trance is going to come into its own a bit here. As we'll go hammering through. And you're, it's surprising how quick you can actually knock, these, knock the buildings up now. I'm guessing I'm going to need some planks for the roof. I'm going to be one log short, aren't I? Because I'm going to need log, log. Oh no, still need logs for there, still need logs for there. So I'm going to need some more logs and I'm going to need 24 planks. So hopefully one of the benefits of having this place well up and running is that we're going to have plenty of these things. So log wise, um, I think another 14 will do it. He says, hopefully. Plank wise, we need 24. There we go. Can't run, but that's not too bad. I need to just get. Oh, I'm not gonna quite get there in time to keep my builder's trance up. Which is annoying. But it is what it is. There you go. Copper hammer doesn't last too bad, actually. I wouldn't say it's that much worse than the um, than the oh, what do you call it? The bronze hammer. The bronze hammer. I wouldn't say it lasted that much longer. There we go. Upgrade complete. I like it. It. it I'm not sure it looks that much different, but. It carries a bunch more stuff, so happy days. That is upgrade one complete. Next upgrade. Now we've got the barn, which would in truth lead to um, the recruitment of more farm workers, which actually I have no problem with because if there's one thing I'm kind of happy to upgrade further, it would indeed be the farm. Because the flaxseed is making us a fortune. The food is coming in nicely. Um, we're managing to keep the sewing person busy, which is excellent. Um, it wouldn't hurt to have the farm going going whole hog, you know. Oh, I'm gonna need bloody stones now, aren't I? Where are they? They were some here. But, you know, these guys are busy working, but they're not working fast enough, and I'd certainly, like I say, like to expand to further fields. And, you know, they can't keep up with the fields they've got. And I believe upgrading the barn would double the number of workers. I mean, to me, it looks like they've done absolutely nothing. And it seems like they're finishing for the day. The lazy gits. <coughs> right. The barn's going to be probably a significant amount of work, though, to upgrade. What have we got in the way of hammers? Because I'm going to need another hammer here. Hmm got one copper hammer. 
I might. How much of that bronze bar have I got? I've got five. Let's grab three of those because we might find out we need. Um, I'm sure I'm going to need a log. I'll probably make myself another bronze hammer to follow up on that. I mean, just because I can, really. Let's go for bronze hammer. Oh, it's sticks. It was sticks I needed, not logs. But that will be my back, my backup hammer. Because I don't want to completely run the place out of hammers, because at the same time the smith uses hammers. And if the smith stops, we're all in trouble. But we've got a reasonable amount of copper or a copper bar doesn't seem to be um, processing as fast as I would like. Got three copper hose and two copper sickles. I mean, you could probably slow down on the hose a bit. There's also upgrading with the limestone that needs to be done. This is going to get us through the logs some. Oh, I'm much higher loaded than I expected. Oh, and I better remember that I am going to completely and utterly be super overloaded as soon as I do this, aren't I? So let's get close enough to make sure I can actually at least hit the barn. Because we're going to go barn number two and uh, we're going to place and uh, we'll get straight in on hitting it and hope that takes us down to enough that we can move. Yes, it does. Thank you. Come on. Oh, it didn't go straight to the other hammer. That's strange. If it's a different type of hammer, it doesn't work. That's interesting. Currently, I have straw in my inventory, which I didn't realize I had it must be I must have got that from the existing barn when I pulled it down I didn't expect it to have a straw roof though but yeah definitely hammering along once you get um the trance involved though so yeah bit of a building episode I'm afraid this time I think but um, we will continue Alwyn's story, but I don't think I'm going to go and see him. It says wait for next day, but I don't think I'm, I think I'll see him after the next day. I think I'll wait till next season. Oh, keep missing. Come on out. Come on, Razumir. You can do it. Here we go. We're almost going to have enough. I'm not sure we're going to have quite enough because we're going to be short on straw. But other than short on straw, I think we're actually pretty damn good here. Straw, 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 straw. Straw, straw, straw. There you go. Uh, that will be more than enough straw. Don't run out, Builder's Trance. Don't run out. I mean, I've got the fishing hut as well down there, but I don't really see any need to upgrade it, you know, or anything like that, because it really doesn't, I'm not using it, and I don't see a use for it at the moment. So we're going to have to manage this, because the bad news is, when you upgrade, everything, fortunately the work tasks remain, but all my workers get deworkered. So I now need to go through and find all my now jobless workers who are becoming unhappy and remember what they were doing. Actually, Blanca's got no job. Why has she got no job? Oh no, she was barn she was a barn worker. So you now need to go through and reassign all these people. I'm not sure what 
Baldwino was doing. Um, yes, you need a job. You're going into the barn. You are going to be a farmer. Have fun. Um, next up was Marold. And Marold, you are going to be a barn worker. Have fun. Let's see who else we've got. Wolston or Wolstan? What Wolstan? Um, you were also in here, and I believe you were also a barn worker. Um, we'll put you on barn working anyway. And who else we got here? See now, it looks like I have Bobwino in there, but Bobwino is more an extraction person, and I thought I already had. Um, yeah, Fulberto was running the extraction. Um, hmm. Let's um, let's have a quick sort by farmers here. See if we've got any particularly good ones that aren't being used. Your mothering. Your baby. You're a much better seamstress. You're an animal breeder, which is fine. Um, you're a lumberjack, and you don't care. But, if I remember correctly, the other person I was looking at who needed a job, which was, I thought there was one other person who needed a job here. Can't see it, Bowena. Yes, Bowena, you are a better... You're probably a better hunter, or is it hunter, or where is it? L you're probably a better lumberjack than the. Well, you're the same, but the other person's a better farmer. So you're going to go and work in the barn as a farmer. Have fun. And you're going to go and work in one of the two woodsheds. Which probably means you're very shortly going to lose your job again. Because I'm going to be upgrading woodsheds. So, that was that complete. I'm a bit disappointed the barn doesn't get a uh, plank roof. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... I think the next touch over the night, I will go through and do a bunch of liming on some of these buildings because I have oodles of lime and I might as well keep upgrading the ones I've, I've got. Um, we might want to recruit a couple of new people later on. Oh, look, I got two I've part started. That was foolish of me. Um, and I'm going to also celebrate by eating the cherry pie. Delicious. Yum. Alright, I'll bring you back in when we have a bit of daylight. Hopefully I will have upgraded some of these houses with the limestone to make things look a bit better. Well, good morning everyone. Did you know? I just learnt something. Um, I didn't know you could do this, but if you go to a stand wall, you can, up, you can decorate it. And, I mean, though there's obviously a cost here, it costs like a grand for the scheme, which I'll be tempted to do at some point. You can put things like a clothes rack and some shelves there, which I'd be tempted to do, you know, you can put, I don't know, perhaps a clothes rack over here to, you know, hang the clothes on near the fire where they'll catch fire, but in theory it would dry out. Or you could put a shelf above the baby's head. I mean, actually, I'd probably be tempted to put the clothes rack here and then you could put, like, a couple of shelves up. But I wonder whether that makes people happier. You know, makes my good lady happier. So how's our little kingdom doing? Workers need more crafting materials. I know. Haven't heard anything else. Okay, beautiful story. Thank you for your time. All right. So... Barn workers should be back on the job. 
Um, next job is going to be woodcutter's huts. And we'll probably upgrade the herbalist. Though, to be quite honest, I don't know what the herbalist actually does a lot of the time. I haven't really used much of it yet. But I don't see why we don't upgrade it. Um, the other thing I wanted to check out was an upgrade I do care about and would also be worth expanding the village for is do we have a level 2 kitchen or anything like that? Um, because we're not quite there with the kitchen. We still don't seem to be quite cutting it on the food situation. We don't seem to be making food fast enough. There is no food... Well, I mean, there's food. There's stuff people can eat in here that is edible, like roasted meat and blah blah blah. But there aren't any prepared meals here anymore. They're all gone. Which worries me a bit. I feel like we need more people on food duty. Um, right. So, further upgrades. Um, we're going to need yet more wood. We're hammering our wood supply. Um, let's take 24. Because we're going to really be starting to run down our wood supply. I mean, what's our firewood looking like? Just out of interest. I would have thought our firewood would be looking good. But I don't actually see any firewood in here. That is... Yeah, that, that's kind of upsetting. I thought there would be firewood in here. There appears to be none. Really? Really, there's no firewood in here? Wow, that's actually a problem. Because when they run out of firewood, they start burning, I think it's sticks. And then they'll start burning logs. And, thing, uh, and then eventually planks. I mean, stick-wise, we've probably got oodles of sticks. Oh no, we're running down sticks because people are burning sticks. So this is going to be another reason that we do need to upgrade and expand the village house-wise. Uh, we got one house here with one person in it. So, hmm, that would give us one extra person, which I'm sure we could put on log cutting or you know, the duty. Your sepal, sep or whatever your name is. Okay. Um. So this is going to be an extraction. Gonna need this one. Can I get close enough to stick this in without? No. Okay. I think I'm going to be all right though, because. I don't think we're going to need a crazy number of logs here. In fact, we're going to need planks, not logs. I'm going to still be full and I'm going to need planks. So what do I reckon? Um, do you reckon that's just six planks or do you reckon that's like 12 planks? Let's get 12 planks. Because if it's 6, <clears throat> it's either 6 or 18, to be fair. If we got 18 planks, I'm going to be overloaded. Um, or more overloaded, and that'll be mean walking slow. I'm going to get 6, actually. Um, because... If I need more than 6, I've got to come back. If I don't need more than 6, when I go to upgrade the other woodcutter's hut, I can pick up the plank on the way by and I'll know what I need so let's have a go one two three four five six done construction complete excellent now if I remember rightly you should keep your tasks yes um, I am tempted to actually lower your logs slightly and up your firewood because we're going to need the firewood 
and yes we need to assign a slot that's not helping I don't know why it does that it's a bit weird you sir you are going to work in the empty woodcutter shed but we will be able to think about having someone else added to that yes thank you didn't quite seem to carry there so hopefully he'll come back to work we can pick up the other um, six planks we're gonna need to do the other one and get that one done and that only leaves us I think with the herbalist hut to upgrade and that will be all our upgrades for the time being complete um, the main pressure then is going to be to well really get some more people and also make some firewood because that definitely seems to be a thing I'm, I've gone past planks tw twice now and I've not picked them up give, give us me the planks thank you right We'll head over to here, pull this up, and after that I may end up cutting down a few trees and just, or using the logs I've got, and uh, converting them into firewood because I really don't want people burning the stick supply for firewood, and we need to keep that coming in. So I mean one of the things that seems to be coming up now is to balance resources in terms of what you're spending on what and what you've got coming in wow it uses one log it doesn't use a lot at all jobs are good and come back lady what was your name baldwina yes of course baldwina yes baldwina do come and work in this woodshed thank you straight back to work my dear I've still got 14 logs in there so I am going to convert all this to firewood and make sure it's in there to keep the fires and the homes burning over the winter okay so after upgrading the woodcutters hut like like I said, turn all that into firewood, produced about 60. I've chucked it in the storage and I've then gone and chucked, cut down a bunch of trees over here because there are only 14 logs left in storage. So I considered it a better idea to cut down my own logs for upgrading the herbalist hut because that will be my next upgrade. My really planks I'm not short of, I could probably even tone down the number of planks I'm now asking for as well um, in return for firewood so Teodroik or whatever you're called you are the guy who needs to be in the herbalist hut so you are a production job and you are or are you not a production job apparently you're not a production job just that mention we still can't make the tavern I want to be able to make the tavern it's just not fair um, services? Nope. Oh, I'd love a market stool as well. Bringing in money. Um, I guess you must be extraction then. Yes, you are. So, herbalist hut. There we go. We'll walk this one down and get straight to work on the herbalist hut. Got me. It does look nicer. I'm never a big fan of the wattle walls. So it does look to me like a nice visible upgrade. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough logs. No. I'm gonna need seven. Seven, so that's fourteen plus so 16 more logs that's quite a few it's more than I've got in storage and I don't want to
take all the ones I've got in storage at the moment. However, this is the area I'm designating to be Tavernville later on. And um, I've cleared this area once before and the trees have grown back. And as you can see, I've grabbed a few here and there for it. So I get three per tree. I need 16, so I'm going to actually need six trees. As you can see, the bronze axe is actually... Uh, I, I think the bronze axe is worth it. I question whether the bronze hammer is worth it. Um, but the bronze axe is definitely worth it. It seems to cut through the trees a lot faster. And it seems to wear very little. So I do consider that a, a worthwhile upgrade. As do I the bronze arrows. The bronze arrows are excellent. I mean, I can only assume iron would be better again. But I've not even found iron yet. Which is something probably ought to look into because I don't know whether iron is something that only appears in the mines once you can put in a mine um, or whether I'm just looking in whether my mine just doesn't have any I mean I, I'm just not sure um, so I'm tempted to check out I think that was it how many have I got uh, I'm definitely tempted to check out some of the other mines on the map and see whether they have iron because obviously I don't so that would to me would seem another worthwhile um, endeavor right let's grab I'm gonna need 24 planks again the classic 24 planks but yeah uh, you know I've still got over a hundred planks now, I'm going to want to build probably another couple of houses, but it's still not going to um, run me out of planks, not by a long shot. So, I don't know, I think I could tone down the plank production slightly in favour again of, um, you know, in favour of firewood. I mean, though, at the same time, liming buildings should actually be reducing my firewood demand. Oh, I don't need 24. I'm only going to need 12. There we go. And we are... Done. Upgrade complete. We're looking much more in keeping with the rest of the village now. It does make me laugh though, because, well, I can see they've used, like, wood panels here, which is a good thing, because pigs and wattle walls would not last long. So let's put our man back to work. I mean, this is the other thing. This guy is... I mean, what's his special skill? His skill is survival, which I think is actually... Um, Herbalist. Herbalist is a survival thing. Yeah, it's, it comes it comes in the red. So it's a... Oh no, I'm in the wrong thing. It's a hunting lodge. Where's my... Um, where is it? Where is it? Herbalist hut, right there. So, what does it come under? Is it survival skill? I'm intrigued actually now. Have I got the wrong person in the job? It is uh, whatever that is. Which I think is is survival skill. So yeah, he he's doing it. And he's probably the right man for the job looking at, at things. I don't have that many. The only person higher than him I have is Albert. And Albert's a baby. So, you know. Definitely the kids have excellent skills. I can see once you've got the kids working, it's going to be really worth it. Um, my mission for the rest of this season is simply going to be to go back to the mine and grab a load more copper, 
I'll probably grab some logs while I'm there. Um, before we finish, we will run over to Denica, I think, and just see if we've got anyone to fill that one slot. Now, we want either a farming person or a wood extraction person. And in that house, we have a chap. So we're looking for a lady. So let's just dash over and see what we've got. Talk to Arwen. Not going to talk to Arwen because Arwen will give me a stupid quest. Oh, snowman's back. And um, then I'll probably get penalised for crossing the season or something with it. And then I'll just be annoyed. So we'll speak to Alwyn in the spring, I think. Let's see what we've got. And what have we got? We've got, we've got a farm person. He's a lady. Got one more. Breathe out. Breathe out of me. Breathe. No, nope, just the two. And we've got a farmer. So it's going to be you, good lady. Hi. Would you like to join my village? Thank you. Happy days. Yes, and you are going to go straight to work, lady. Where are you? You're on a zero. You're only 18. Um... I'm sure the gentleman will be very happy. And you're going to work in the barn and you are going to be a barn worker. Have a good time. But yeah, she should cheer up straight away. And he's 28. If he gets a nice, nice young filly, he should be, you know, he should be happy. He should be super happy. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I would be interested to know, for those of you who have made it for made it this far, um, in the Let's Play, where do you think we should reach our conclusion? I want to conclude Alwyn's story. I would love to get to the point of having a horse, um, but let me know what you think. Because obviously this game can go on forever, and... Um, I'm interested to know how far everyone would like me to take it. But with that, I will say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time. Thanks a lot.